benefit. Welcome and thank you for joining us for BTW 21 News. Luis Romero greeting you as always. We extend our thanks to you for taking a part of your you know, day to uh, be here with us. Let's start off with uh, keeping you up to date and catching you up to speed with some of the things that occurred this weekend. We're going to start off with a uh, Friday fire update. We now understand that uh, the fire that took place there in the Sandy Level community of Henry County on Friday morning was accidental in nature. Now, emergency services were called there to the 7700 block of Axton Road Friday at 11.51 a.m. According to the Henry County Fire Marshal Lisa Garrett, again, the fire was accidental. The marshal said the owner was burning trash close to the home and the fire spread to the porch as you can see there in this footage that we obtained there at the scene. The accident volunteer fire department responded there and uh, had help from the horse pasture volunteer fire department to put out that fire. The Henry County Department of Public Safety also responded. There were no injuries reported but uh, EMS usually responds with helping making sure that firefighters uh, are breathing correctly when it comes to a uh, large fire. And of course, uh, there was help from the Henry County Sheriff's Office that we understand. And I believe that the Henry County uh, Animal Control Officer also responded with a loose dog there in the area. But again, no injuries and that fire has been determined to be accidental. Now for that Thursday night crash that occurred on uh, Route 58, also in the accident community. We understand that around 11.34 p.m. on Thursday night, there was an uh, incident involving a Subaru in a pickup truck. According to a witness there at the scene that BTW 21 News spoke to, the uh, Subaru swerved to miss hitting the GMC pickup truck which was traveling on the wrong side of Route 58. The pickup truck, that is, was traveling on the wrong side. The Subaru swerved to miss it. The Subaru went into the median, which has a um, very drainage system that caused the Subaru to overturn. There were no injuries reported uh, from the Subaru driver. We also understand that the Henry County Sheriff's Office came in contact with the GMC pickup truck down the road understand it was an elderly male that was driving it and that pickup truck was found near the Galilean House of Worship or Governor's Lane near that area there. Again, no one was hurt in that incident. The Accident Volunteer Fire Department responded and assisted with traffic control. Virginia State Police is investigating this incident. The Henry County Department of Public Safety also responded because they were called to the scene because it was unknown if anyone was hurt, but again, no one was report, reported hurt in that incident. Now talking uh, about some good news, uh, three individuals will be having new positions for this upcoming academic, academic year at Henry County Public Schools. The Henry County School Board appointed and approved three administrative positions at their Thursday meeting. Kenneth Boyce will serve as the secondary assistant principal at Bassett High School next school year, as I mentioned to you. Boyd has served Henry County Public School students as a middle and high school teacher since 2014. Melissa Broadstreet will be the principal at Drew Mason Elementary School. Broadstreet is currently an assistant principal at Magna Vista High School. Katrina Perry will return to Magna Vista to be a secondary assistant principal after serving as principal at Law Park Middle School. So, Big congratulations to uh, those uh, three ladies for their appointments to administrative positions within the county schools. A lot that we've discussed and there's yet more to come after these messages. Hi, Barry Nelson, Nelson Kia Subaru. We got some great deals today. We got a 2013 Kia Optima, loaded roof, leather, turbo car, only $229 a month. That's a great deal. Want a deal today? A 2017 Corolla, only $249 a month. That's a great deal, a gas saver car. 2018 Forte, $259 a month, only $259 a month. 
plus 37 miles to the gallon. We've got a 2020 Buick Encore, all wheel drive, one owner, only $259 a month. That's a great deal. Got the best for last, a 2021 Chevy Spark, only $239 a month and 38 miles to the gallon. Come see us at Nelson Kia Subaru where everybody knows cars cost less. Hey, come see us at Martinsville Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Martins for Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing, so give Frill Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. Blue Ridge Aquaculture is hiring both full-time and part-time drivers. Home every other night. CDL, Class A, and two years of experience required. Must be at least 21 years of age with a good driving record. Excellent benefit package including medical, dental, vision, life, short-term disability and long-term disability and 401k. Apply online at www.blueridgeaquaculture.com or give us a call 276-632-9440 to make an appointment to apply in person at 555 Industrial Park Drive, Ridgeway, Virginia 24148 during our normal business hours Monday through Friday 8 a.m. To 5 p.m. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to BTW 21 News. Thank you for staying with us. Let's turn it over now to Justin Staples for a check of your local weather forecast. Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology where relationships matter. Alrighty, we're wishing you a happy Monday. We hope you had a good weekend. We saw some showers and some much needed uh, thunderstorm activity. That again, it's not much needed, but it's anticipated. I'll let you know we're getting close to the summer season as well. Of course, congratulations to Kyle Larson. The NASCAR for the NOCO Sunday race yesterday uh, was able to pull up a big victory win. And of course, the Truck Series race, uh, thanks course, got a little delayed because of the weather. And that was forecasted to happen uh, as that uh, typically usually goes on this time of the year. So race weekend is always interesting. It's either rainy or it's sometimes can be a little too windy for the cars on the track itself out there. Of course, thank you to all of our visitors uh, for making some time across the United States to visit little old Martinsville. If that was your first time there, welcome to Ridgeway, actually. But again, the Martinsville Speedway located here in the pride of Henry County. So congratulations to all of our drivers. And now we can get back uh, so we have uh, less congestion uh, in that area as well. So the good news is that we are going to see some drying conditions for the next several days. It's going to get windy once more. We want to remind you that burn ban does continue for the rest of the month. So give another couple more weeks or so before the burn ban uh, does uh, continue to come to a close. That is something that we've been emphasizing for the last several weeks, and actually since the end of uh, since February. 
basically once that went into effect, February 15th is when it went into issued uh, for our hometown. So let the grass dry out for a day or two, then get the push mower and lawn mowers out there. Weed eaters definitely going to be needing it after this wet weekend. We saw 70, it's sun, excuse me, 60s and sunshine as we're trying to get to say right there as well. We'll see a very clear and calm night in the making force. No thunderstorm activity this evening though. We'll just see a crystal clear sky at night moving in in the waking force. So if you do have plans later on this evening, maybe go walk the dog or maybe do just soak in the patio furniture or, or better yet, if your kids are doing any uh, baseball or softball or any uh, soccer activities, as they think, go ahead and take advantage of it. Now, however, though, it is going to get cool in a hurry. We're not going to be seeing those mild overnight lows like we saw earlier this weekend as the overnight lows are going to dip in the 40s for us. So actually, well, we should be for the time of the year, believe it or not. We'll see those clear skies overnight again, a light breeze at time out of the west, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So again, a number one reason why you shouldn't be doing any burning because the winds are going to be out there uh, howling out of the west about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow for Tuesday, we'll see a plentiful sunny day, breezy at times. Once again, we'll see again westerly north, west, southwesterly flow of wind direction in our hometowns giving us plenty of sunny skies. As you see, they're low to mid-70s, upper 70s towards Ridgeway. So any visitors uh, lingering around towards Martinsville, Henry County, maybe you are on spring break uh, for some of you. Maybe you did request to have some time off work if you're visiting outside of our area. Just do know, expect to see lots of sunny skies at play. Low to mid-70s for our friends towards Patrick County, Stewart, Ararat, Woolwine, Patrick Springs. Uh, as you make your way up towards uh, Route 11 and Route 8, they're outside of Montgomery County and Floyd County. I know I'm going well out of our area, but a beautiful time to get out there and soak in the sunshine. Something else I want to quickly make note about is that the pollen is going to be high as you make your way towards this, uh, the next few days. And that is because we've got dry, the dry air is at place. And another thing to consider is the breezes and those winds blowing, blowing as well. So that is the main concern why we're having uh, warmer temperatures, but also again, an increase in pollen numbers as well. So if you suffer from allergies, of course, I know a lot of people was going out about her a lot of a chews and sneezes over the weekend doing some things outdoors. So it's kind of dodging showers in between. Yes, yeah, so make sure you have your allergy medication on standby. Again, breezy conditions tomorrow and also going into Wednesday. Winds will begin to diminish later in the day on Wednesday afternoon. That is because we're going to get this front that's finally moving out of our area, bringing, of course, uh, you know, parts of the Mid South this past weekend. You know, this is now the fourth weekend in a row that we've even here in our hometowns have seen showers and storms. They have seen tornado warnings and watches and flood alerts for parts of Mississippi, Tennessee, Louisiana, Alabama, and Georgia, also parts of Kansas and Arkansas now. And you wouldn't believe this, there's a potential for more severe weather expected for them later this week in the Deep South and the Mid-South. So check on your folks if you have family and friends down towards the Tennessee, Ohio, Mississippi River, River Valley, uh, the down of the Deep South. Check on them because, again, they may have the potential for seeing some more storms and possibly tornado damage again for next weekend, for this weekend coming up. 80s again, it's going to be the theme for us running well above the average high now for the next several days. A mix of clouds and sun for Thursday and going into Friday, we're looking not too bad either. So a good week to get that uh, yard work caught up if you can in between. Let those kids, if they're not at school practicing for soccer, get the lawnmowers out there for them. Put them to work. Of course, make sure they get their studies and stuff done first. You don't want to let them get behind them because of that. But of course, just letting you know how you can take advantage of the week. Of course, if you are going to any baseball or any soccer or any, uh, you know, maybe some college lacrosse games going around, some of our hometowns, you can take advantage of that. Saturday, we'll introduce a chance of some showers throughout the day. It's going to remain warm, but also overcast as well. So kind of an off and on day. We'll keep a close eye on that one. Again, this is bringing that same storm system to the Mid-South where they may see the potential for some of that severe weather move in their neck of the woods. Now, uh, enjoy this while this lasts because the Climate Prediction Center put out yesterday their uh, weekly outlook. Now, again, I don't normally show this on Mondays, but I thought this was very uh, um, interesting to look at because it's been so warm for the last several, almost week now, two weeks of roughly. 
Now we're going to begin to see some changes in our direction, and that's because some potential colder weather is expected. Now, could we get near freezing? Absolutely. There could be a couple of nights over the next couple of weeks we kind of dip near the freezing mark. Now, again, as you know, this time of the year, it's very short-lived uh, for this moment in time. So I would just hold off on any planting. I know a lot of trees are beginning to bloom. Well, they've been blooming since February, uh, since we had all that warmth record uh, in the winter time. But again, expect to see some much cooler than average temperatures. We're right on the swift of that below, well below average range as well. You kind of see the likely below leaning uh, towards a l less below to likely below average here in the darker the blue, the lightly color of that potential for that colder weather to move in, kind of the color of my tie here, right? But anyway, just do expect that we're gonna see a gradual cool down going into late this weekend and going into the following weeks leading up to the end of April. Uh, of course, right now, uh, there's the potential uh, that, again, don't expect us to remain cold, but we are anticipating that we're gonna see likely cooler than average temperatures for our hometowns, possibly going in, in the latter of this month and going in the first start of May. So this gives you an idea where we are in the calendar. We're right above the average, not near where we should be, but uh, besides that, rainfall departure still, we're needing some help with that. Uh, now that we got thunderstorms and some showers over this weekend, it's not enough to surpass our, uh, our negative amount of moisture, but again, we should be more right around a surplus. So without these rain showers, we're gonna continue to remain below average for precipitation levels, but most likely looking below average for our temperatures as we do expect this to go out towards the end of April. So that's all that and wrapped up in a bottle there for you, wrapped up wrapped up in a foil, if you're gonna call it, kind of get my, um, all my synonyms and exaggerating, not exaggerating, but uh, my uh, metaphors uh, in a loop here. I can't do that right now. But anyway, do expect to see, we'll see sh sunny skies. Wow, I was, uh, yeah. sunny skies in the forecast. We'll see chances of rain for the weekend. And then again, possibly remaining cooler than average as well. That's enough of my time here for y'all. Have a wonderful afternoon. Enjoy the sunshine. We'll have more coming up right after this. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zipmeyer Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mountain Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia, and our phone number is 276-647-5555. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards, and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. Ra 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 Pete, Christmas is over, son. I ain't talking about Christmas season, Dan the man. I'm talking about tax season, a.k.a. car buying season. 
and PVT ain't down there in field. They all got 50, 11 cars to choose from. They got big cars. They got small cars. They even got medium-sized cars. My tax check was a little light this year, Pete. Well, that's okay, too, Dan the Man, because they do finance. Like PVT Inc. on Facebook and ride by 4264 Appalachian Drive, Fieldale, to view inventory. 5011 more cars are coming in daily. We've been here for 25 years now and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned. So we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. You're watching BTW 21 News, and again, we thank you very much for your continued uh, company. It is now time for your crime report by Apex Bell Bonds for Henry County. James Hunley, 41, of Axton, Virginia, charged with prison of court DOC, returned from DOC for court. Jessica Inman, Jessica Inman, 39, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Marion Nichols, 68, of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with speeding over 80 miles per hour. Devon Pilsen, 25, of Fieldale, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Aaron Sykes, 43 of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public, bomb threat, etc. by offender 15 or over, and simple assault, and simple assault. Marcus Bruce, 34 of Collinsville, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Stacy Foley, 46 of Stewart, Virginia, Charged with possession of Schedule 1 or 2 drugs. Crystal Grimsley, 35 of Bassett, Virginia. Charged with probation violation felony. Sova Health of Martinsville is a full-service acute care hospital that has been at the heart of Martinsville, Henry County, and the surrounding region since it opened as Memorial Hospital of Martinsville and Henry County in June of 1970. The largest employer in the city of Martinsville, the Martinsville campus employs over 700 people, has over 100 physicians and allied health professionals, and provides over 22 medical specialties. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-638. 8771.
Wanda Francis Heath Light, 63 of Bassett, went home to be with the Lord Wednesday, April the 12th, 2023. Visitation will be at the home of Walter and Jean Light, Thursday and Friday, April the 20th and 21st from 5 to 7 p.m. A memorial service will be conducted at 2 p.m. Saturday, April the 22nd at First Baptist Church in Bassett. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the family. Robert Stanley Pleasant, 62, of Martinsville, passed away Tuesday, April 11, 2023. Arrangements will be announced at a later date. Noise Funeral Service and Crematory in Martinsville Chapel are serving the Pleasant family. Online condolences may be made by visiting noisefuneral.com. Juan Jose Rodriguez, 52, of Martinsville, passed away Sunday, April the 9th, 2023. The funeral service was held Saturday, April the 15th at Wright Funeral Service Chapel in Martinsville. Visitation was held Friday, April the 14th. Online condolences may be made by visiting wrightfuneralservices.net. Christine Reynolds Harrison, 79, 79, of Martinsville, passed away Tuesday, April the 11th, 2023. The funeral will be Monday, April the 17th at 12 p.m. at Antioch Christian Church in Martinsville. Visitation will be one half hour prior to that. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Darrell B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in as 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry out or catering needs. How'd they take care of you today, sir? Excellent, man, excellent. They're always good down here. They'll take time to go through and help tell you stuff you don't know if you have questions. And believe me, I've asked them plenty of questions. How long have you been coming here? Two or three years. I've seen ads, I've heard people talk about them, clean lot, come in here, get out without them. Too much fear of having flat tires. I've been on some places where it's like, oh man, it's gonna cost me more and I'm gonna make. West pays more, that's for sure. That's gonna wrap it up here for this Thursday edition. Wow, I'm already skipping days for this Monday edition of BTW 21 News. We'll see you tomorrow. It's the 31st annual Big Bird Toy Ride Bike Giveaway. 
one in 500 chances of winning a Kawasaki Vulcan fully loaded. So don't forget, get your ticket today, one in 500 chances of winning. Bike will be given away when all 500 tickets are sold or at the Big Bird Toy Ride November the 11th. Tickets can be purchased at BTW 21 at 934 North Memorial Boulevard. So get your ticket today for a chance to win this bike.